Do you find me attractive? Yeah, of course I do. Would you say that I'm just as attractive as all the women that you work with all day? I'd say you're twice as attractive. Are you patronizing me? Of course I am. Haven't you noticed how white men treat white women differently? If some gorgeous blonde bimbo came jiggling her way up to him, he'd cling to her like boogers under the table. I'm glad you're not going to dwell on it. <laughs> it's me, Tess. I'm Melanie. <laughs> what kind of crazy shit is this? I'm just as baffled as you are. I went out to dinner last night with Dave. I didn't feel well. I came home and went to bed and I woke up this morning and I'm Heather Locklear. And what exactly is wrong with your skin, dear? It's white. I know my face may not seem familiar to you. And it's the most perfect face I've ever it's seen. It's just that. What do you mean, most perfect? I thought he was out with you. He was with me, but he didn't know that. Technically, he was with somebody else. You did tell him who you were, didn't you? Melanie? What are you doing here? It's three in the morning. I really need to see you. What do you want? Melanie, I love you. What happened to the Barbie doll you've been going out with all week? You bastard! I don't know why you're gonna let him back in your life after the way he treated you. You're just jealous. The way I look, I can get any man like that. Well, I think you prefer yourself this way. We're not equal. We can't be. Well, I don't know who you are anymore. You just want me because I'm gorgeous and white. Admit it. You are so full of yourself, it's incredibly sickening. Nigga, you take a long, hard look into those blue eyes of yours, and you ask yourself if you don't like yourself better now, too. Yesterday, she was a black beauty. Today, she's a blonde bombshell. I'll tell you what, Miss Wells. You promise not to jaywalk again, and I'll let you and your friend go today with just a warning. Melanie Wells is having one serious change of life.